Hey everybody, this is Tom in Western North Carolina. I just thought I'd show you a tree I got the last couple of days. Blew down in a storm Wednesday night. This is Sunday now. On Thursday I looked at the tree. It blew down in a neighbor's yard pretty close here. And on Friday I cut it all up. Hauled a couple small loads of all this small wood. There's a smaller branches there and then down in that pile now I've, I've you can see the lighter wood is the new wood and then yesterday i hired three young women from the folk school work studies to help me get the rest of it in anyways right here this piece here is the very bottom cut and this is the the, the bottom cut right there. It's measuring just right about 23, 23 and a half inches inside the bark. Anyways, it had some pretty good wood in it. I split one piece today. There's one piece I split up. Didn't split too hard. That's just half of the piece. The other half is right there. It's got a big old limb sticking out of the back side. I didn't split it. Anyways, there's some more of it. And here's some more of it here. And up in this area, if I measured it out, I didn't measure it before I cut it or anything, but I added up the pieces. And these pieces are measuring right about 18 inches, where it would have been about the 16 foot mark you know, plus trim, and a 16 foot, 18 inches, right there, 196, board. if it's a 16 foot log, it would have been 196 board feet, but it was pretty lumpy, above about the 10 foot mark, anyways, I think there's possibly some good chair wood in this, and I'll take you down to see the other pieces of it that I got. They're just right down here. I put them down here near the shop door. There's the same old walk I take you guys on. So I got these two pieces cut about 42 inches long. This here is the bottom cut. Well, on top of that one that's over there, you can see there's a hole in it. But this is the second cut right here. And it doesn't have the hole in it. It's still a little discolored there. But it doesn't have the hole. But anyways, this log here. Oh, I don't know if that ruined the picture or not. I guess I need to leave the sun on it. But I got two marks on there. They're about three and a half inches apart. And there's 15 growth rings there in three and a half inches. But down below there, there's just too many to count in three and a half inches. So that's a classic, what the loggers, not the loggers, but the log buyers call a two texture log. Anyways, it's not ideal for chair making, but I think there is potentially some pretty darn good wood in there. And that last tree I had that I've been splitting up, I don't think I've told you anything about it. Oh yeah, I told you I got a tree and I was making uh, stuff out of the sapwood of it because it had that ring shake or something in it. it had a weak spot in the, in, the, in the tree. I didn't get any slats out of it. I believe I ended up with seven sets of back posts and all the rungs and front posts and airfoils and uh, frame fronts and everything for those chairs. I had the, la the, the number seven, and they were actually the last ones I bent. They failed on the inside. You know, I had sapwood plus heartwood. And the heartwood side of them just on the two, or at least one of them anyways, the heartwood just 
like crushed. So I only got seven instead of eight. But that's all right. It was just three wood. Felt like doing it. So anyways, that's uh next few days I'll probably bust into these and see how they split. And see what I got in there. I guess I'll uh when I do split one of them open and lay it out and whatever I get out of it eights or yeah, surely I'll get eights out of it. Quarters will be pretty darn big. I'll uh, show you what that looks like. Might be in the next couple of days. Anyways, I'm doing pretty good. I'm planning, you know, I'm going to that um, book, Chairmakers event, on June the 2nd. The, the blurb on the ticket site says there's going to be 13 people from the book there. I don't know if that's everybody in the book or just certain people. But I'm going to ride up there with Drew Langsner, and I'm planning on doing a uh, assemble a chair demonstration up there. And um, if any of you can make it, I'd like to see you. And it's a, yeah, a Sunday, June the 2nd. Anyways, I hope you're all doing well out there. I'm doing well here. And uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you another day. Bye.